Hello, today's devotional can be found in Exodus chapter 34, verse 13. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. Alright, so here's the thing. Here is the thing. Temporal things are temporal, and eternal things are eternal. And there's a very big difference between the two. Temporal things were created entirely by man. I mean, God may have inspired it, probably, but man is not going to give God credit for any part of what has been created. And God was shut out by man. So he doesn't get to even help in the development of temporal things because they did not want his help, so he cannot help. He is bound by his own laws. Things created by God were inspired by God, and the power was given to the hands of man that it might be created and used for his holy purposes. And those are called eternal things. And the eternal things shall last so long as those who claim to believe in him will use those things in the name of righteousness. Some things are on the... Everything eternal has the condition of righteousness attached to it. So if people use God's creations righteously, if they treat them with respect, if they do what they can to honor what God has given them to do and enjoy and be, then those things will be eternal. However, if people disrespect, desecrate, and treat God's creations like crap, if they disgrace them, if they desecrate them, if they mock the sacredness of the things that God has created, well then God will take those things away because by mocking God's creations we show that we are not worthy to take care or enjoy those creations and we obviously don't want them if we can't take care of them and respect them. It's a terrible thing but all temporal things shall fade away with time and with the wrath of God because God will eventually come to the earth and all wicked people and all temporal things shall fade away or be taken away and people will be left in their natural selves and be invited to make the choice to do better and they won't have worldly things or apparel to hide behind and some may st stand stubbornly by what they believed even though they may come to know of the truth or they may choose to stand by things that they have seen destroyed simply because it's all they know and it would be too uncomfortable for them to change their belief. I mean, everybody's got their agency. The choices have consequences. And if God sees people who have sworn to stand by him and uphold the covenants they made and understand the sacredness of things he gives them if he sees those people mocking them or belittling or destroying the sacred things he shall hold those people accountable and take away their blessings god's not going to punish people who live in ignorance but he will punish people who have an idea as to what things are and what they mean and mock them. We don't need to hide behind things of the world. We need to pick the Lord's side because it is the only side that will last in the end. But we have to make that choice on our own.
Nobody can make it for us. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.